Welcome to the first sorted food video of 2016 and we are starting as we mean to go on with great food and less than average company. <laughs> Happy New Year. Happy New Happy Year. You've still got lids on. Happy. Pie time. Oh. What you have is a Mexican inspired chicken pie. pie. I like the use of the word inspired. Guys, this Look is a this. killer, killer pie. And help yourself some greens. That is salsa verde. It's green, green sauce. sauce. Mexican green sauce. Gents, dig in. That is really good. I usually expect to tuck into a pie and be instantly full because it's <laughs> stuffy. That's really refreshing. The first thing that hits me is the pastry. We need a pust for our cry. Our pie crust is beautifully unique, but very, very simple. The same method as normal, except we're using cornmeal in place of some of the flour and some spices. All you need to do is take your plain flour and cornmeal, place them into a bowl, mix them together, and then rub in your cold salted butter. And at this point, you can add in all your spices as well. A little bit of salt and sugar, and then paprika and white pepper. If you want all the weights and measurements, hey, guess what? Down below. So I'm using the crumb technique here, Ben. And you're better off just using your fingertips because your palms are very hot and you don't want to melt the butter, you just want to form a kind of breadcrumb-like consistency. All nicely crumbed. Next in, some vinegar. One cracked egg. <laughs> and then just enough water to bring it together. And you won't need all of this, but a little bit at a time until you have one dough. And once you've got your pastry made, flatten it out a bit, wrap it in cling film and put it in the fridge to rest and then you can make your filling. A pie filling, in this case, is an onion, two cloves of garlic, and a chilli, sweated off in olive oil, and then we're gonna hack up our chicken thighs, removing all the skin, sinew, and any bone. To make the sauce for our pie, once the chicken thigh has been seared off in the pan with the onions and garlic and chilli, then go in with flour and cumin. What that'll do is form basically a roux around all the chicken, and then, like a white sauce, instead of adding milk, we're gonna add chicken stock. As if that's not enough, once all the sauce is cooked out, it's finished with some of our green salsa. He means salsa verde. And a whole bunch of cheese grated in and the juice of a lime. So when you said it was fresh, it does have that richness of cheese, but the lime just kind of brings it to life. Cuts through. I really like it. I know I had a part involvement in making it, but it is delicious. I had this for the first time in Chicago. Which is nearer to Mexico so, than we are. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> But they, they had a chicken tomatillo pie, and I have to be honest, I hadn't got a clue what tomatillo was, um, but they're incredible. And through a stroke of extraordinarily good luck, the tomatillos that we'd ordered that hadn't turned up in time for the recipe, turned up halfway through the recipe. So we were able to make two salsa verdes, one traditional and one UK based. Yay! Tomatillos! <laughs> For our salsa verde, you will need two tablespoons of diced onion, three large interchangeable green tomatoes or tomatillos, depending on what turns up when, some coriander, garlic, dried oregano, and cumin. Splash in 200 ml of water and let bubble for 20 minutes. And then blitz up in a food processor into a salsa. This is our UK-based salsa verde with green tomatoes. Okay. It's a really clean fresh. Flavor, fresh. Yeah. It's now, I want you to try the one from this bowl. It's deeper. There's a depth there, isn't there? It's Definitely. Punchier, isn't deeper. That? Yeah. yeah. And for that reason, that's the one we used in our filling. Now, I must say, this side is exceptional. It's fresh, mm. it's tangy. It's winter greens. Our side dish is just going to be a whole bunch of greens, either collard greens or chard or spring greens or winter greens, whatever, finely sliced up and sauteed off in a very hot pan with fresh corn stripped off the cob. A little pinch of salt and pepper and a squeeze of lime is all it needs as a side dish. We're also going to put some of that into our pie filling. Take your pastry, two thirds of it, and roll it out on a floured surface till it's fairly thin and then roll it into whatever you're going to cook your pie in. Either a loose bottom cake tin so you can remove it completely or actually just a big chunky thing like this and we'll serve it like that at the table. Then put your pie filling in before rolling out your last third and placing it on top. Emma Louise Kennedy asks, what pastry is best for chicken pie? Well, this one, obviously. Well, there you go. <laughs> Some chicken pie. No, but it does vary. Like, if you're doing a pot pie with just a lid on top, 
puff pastry all she, the way. She said she loves puff. Puff pastry. But if you're doing sides and a bottom, mm -hmm. then puff's no good because it's got nowhere to puff. But this is a this is a short crust pastry. I tell you what, if you want other pie ideas, click on the eye. There's loads of pie. That, that is such a cop out, but well, well now you're there, you might as well do it. When your pie is filled and topped, you need to brush it with beaten egg for a glaze, and then put it into an oven, 200 degrees Celsius, and it'll need about 40, 45 minutes. Then take it out, give it 20 minutes, even half an hour to begin to cool, because you want it not piping, piping, piping hot, but just hot. Boys, you seem to have done an exceptional job. <coughs> I can't fault it, in the slight, but that honestly, that is a perfect pie. Oh, yes. Let me get a question. <laughs> Hannah Lucy, if you had to live in one television show, which one would it be? Oh, I'd say, hey, what a wonderful kind of day where you can learn to work and play. Listen to your heart, listen to the beat, listen to the rhythm, the rhythm of the street. I could go on, but yeah, Arthur would be the dream place to live. You know there are no humans Because it's Arthur. a simple message that comes from the heart. Believe in yourself, because it's the place to start. Let's not reference that. <laughs> Let's pretend that didn't happen. We'll not even dignify it with no. an Arthur. Wait, 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 wait. I would like to live inside the Fresh Prince of Bella. It does feel like you'd be going from one carton to another, though. <laughs> <laughs>